All right, here's a little status update involving the Makina M2. I'm here in the middle of a rainstorm in my uh, 2013 Leaf. I've got, let's see if I can actually, sorry, it's kind of a little dark. You might be able to see the Makina down there in the dark. I don't know if I can do much to get it brighter. Here, I'll open the door a second. At any rate, the Makina is down there plugged in with no cables attached to it. Uh, let's see if I can actually uh, I've got the Super B M2 board the, the Super B Makina board their uh, ESP32 stuck on the top of the M2 so everything's up there uh, wireless here we have uh, QT Studio for QT Creator on my laptop, I'm going to go over here on my laptop, uh, select M M2 ESP32. Up here. Hopefully it connects. This is kind of all held together with bailing wire and wishes at this point. Uh, but it says it's connected to the ESP32 module, about 82% uh, signal strength. I'll go here, start up the program, connection, open connection window, the remote host, it's 192.168.4.1. Great connection, you can see over here. We've got traffic, so this is at least the first public, at any rate, test of the Makina M2 with a Super B attached, running wireless uh, connection to my laptop. So you can see here, I'll, I'll go to auto scroll. Here is the traffic off of a Nissan Leaf being wirelessly transmitted from the M2 over to my laptop. So. Once this is made a little more stable and the code is all public, people will be able to uh, do CAN captures and send CAN messages wirelessly. It uses TCP IP. It actually runs on the Telnet port. So you can basically use any Telnet program uh, to connect to this as well. Let me see if I can actually... Uh, I have not tried that on this particular board, but what better time to try it than right in front of uh, everybody for the first time on video. Well, there you can see that I actually have it in binary mode, so the Telnet is just going crazy. Oops but you can see that it is transmitting. Yeah, it's hard for me to get it out of binary mode right now, but if it weren't in its binary protocol mode for talking to the, uh, for talking to SavvyCan, then you could actually see a text console on here in Telnet. So, all wireless uses TCP IP, so you're assured that you're going to get the messages in the correct order and all that. Uh, right now, UDP is not working very well on the ESP32, and no one seems to know why. But at least this is a successful test of wireless comm to the M2. I think a lot of people are probably going to like that because it's not really any fun to have to string USB cords all around inside your car with the Super B attached down here like it is. Uh, you can pretty much uh, just plug that right in, leave it plugged in and access it anytime you need to. Right now it makes the, you know, it makes a Wi-Fi hotspot of its own, the way I have it configured. In the future we might be able to uh, make it connect to your home access point. You can see I've got Kidder Wi-Fi and Xfinity and all that good stuff. Uh, in the future, maybe we can make it connect to your Wi-Fi and then you can 
practically go inside your house and monitor the car from in there. So lots of various possibilities, but there's the initial test.